need I need to have a day to set up that. Hello class, today we are going to be talking about mouse. We covered this a couple days ago, just going to be doing some chapters, but today it's very important that I have you guys open up your Chromebooks and turn, turn to pages 25 to 30. Open up your Paradex, we are going to be talking about mouse. Just open up the jigsaw there, pages 25 to 30. Mouse. Something that I would have liked to put in there is that there are lots of mice in this film. The Jewish mice are going up against the Nazi cats. It's just because, you know, they're seen as big, tall, and brooding. It's kind of like a cat and mouse predatory thing. And yeah, the Polish people are also depicted as pigs. This one's a bit more interesting. There's a, there's a bit more of, like, background on why the Polish people are pigs. And that's what we're about to look into today. It's no wonder my grades are so bad in this class. Always feeling so sleepy all day. I wish we could just go home. Yo, know, what's the time right now? Ugh, why does this class have to be so boring? Ugh, I feel like we have 40 more minutes of class. Uh, I guess I'll just start closing my eyes out. Jaden, 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 wake up, Jaden, wake up, Jaden, Jaden. Mr. Robinson, what are you doing here? You fell asleep during one of my lectures in class. Oh, I did that again. But that still doesn't explain. What are you doing in my house? We're in a dream. I invaded your dream so I could talk to you about a certain issue at King High. And what's that issue? Walk with me. You see, students have been suffering with sleep deprivation all across the nation. This often causes depression, mental health issues, and just bad performance in academics and extracurriculars overall. You know, Mr. Robinson, us students tend to be sleepy because the amount of homework that we get, the amount of responsibilities that we have, and not to mention the extracurriculars that we have to do after school. Not to mention the early school start times that students have to deal with. Also, the biological need for teenagers to get more sleep. Mm. I actually put a little bit of a quote in your phone, if you want to look at that. Oh, did you, Mr. Robinson? According to a 2010 large-scale study published in the Journal of Adolescent Health, a scant 8% of U.S. high school students get the recommended amount of sleep. Some 23% get 6 hours of sleep on an average school night, and 10% only get 5 hours. Multiple studies have been shown that high school students aren't functional before 9 a.m., says Dr. Van Glyder. Hey, help! Please! Please help me! What the heck? Mr. Robinson, what in the world is behind this door? That is your crippling anxiety trying to escape. I see. But Mr. Robinson, what's the issue here at King? You don't think that sleep deprivation is an issue here? You literally fell asleep in class. I guess you're right, Mr. Robinson. We actually interviewed a couple students who are just like you and also dealing with sleep deprivation. Oh wow, my own classmates. Yep, check it out. Okay, so let's get started. Um, what's your name and what grade are you? I'm Hannah Cassandra Tan and I'm in ninth grade. Cool. My name is Diego Lua and I am a sophomore. Um, how many hours of sleep do you get on average? Uh, on weekdays and weekends? On weekdays, I usually get like maybe five to eight. Uh, good night, usually eight to ten. Eight to ten? Yeah. Are you saying mostly on weekend, uh, weekdays or weekends? Um, on weekdays, like after I take a big test or something, you usually get more sleep. But if it's days where I have homework and stuff, I usually get about maybe six. I usually get around six to seven hours at most. Do you feel that like you get enough energy for that sleep? No, I'm, I barely make it through the day sometimes. Like, uh, in your opinion, right? With school start times being set from around 7:50 to about 8:30 or 8:40 next year? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So, what's your opinion on that? Do you think it'll be beneficial to you or not? I think it'll be beneficial for me because like I already 
I think it's very good because it gives you more time to rest. Even I'd rather start later off in the day because I don't have to wake up super early. So that's I like it. And like everyone talks about how they need to sleep more, so I think it'll help a lot. Okay, so let me ask you another question. Have you ever slept in class? Um this is not shown to Mr. West. Yes, <laughs> I have. And um have you ever slept in class? Yes. Yes. <laughs> really? During fourth period. <laughs> <laughs> and um do you ever feel like unfocused or very sleepy in class? Yes. Yes. Like during maybe during third period. Is that like how often is that? Every day. Every day? <laughs> is there a specific? Um, probably math. That's second period, just because um, well, I guess for me, like the concept is sort of easy-ish. Really wow, well, Mr. Robinson, my classmates had to say a lot about sleep deprivation. Yeah, we actually interviewed 115 students. Wow, that's really crazy. Not to mention that there is literally a social media account dedicated to students falling asleep and pictures of them. No way. Now that's a real issue. But what are we going to do to solve this? Come with me. I'll show you. Let's go. Now, Mr. Robinson, the doors of my house have been acting really strange lately. What is that? Oh, that's just your guilty conscience. Righty up. Sleep club should be placed here at King. Mr. Robinson, that's nonsense. What are we gonna do in that club? Take a nap? Exactly. This will be held during lunch. Students will be able to sleep, do homework, relax, and just recharge the batteries in the next class. Well, Mr. Robinson, while that does sound cool, will anyone even go? Yes, it is. We've already contacted ASP and they're fully on board with it. We also have 50 out of the 115 students that we've interviewed already agree to join the club. That's more than enough to actually start a club and hold one. But Mr. Robinson, how will this work? We just need to contact a teacher who would be willing to hold this club in their classroom, perhaps during lunch or after school. The goal is mainly lunch. After that, we just need the money to buy things like pillows, blankets. The real constraint really is just the teachers and the money. Uh, Mr. Robinson, I really do like your ideas. Also, what I do think is a really affordable option and easy to implement is a social media account for sleep deprived students. With that, we can provide sleeping tips and ha have uh, student lives here at MLK be better. Now you're cooking. So Mr. Robinson, why are we doing this? Students all across King High School have been dealing with sleep deprivation and we need to provide some sort of solution. It affects students academic lives, extracurricular lives, and just overall student life. Now, if you now see the reasons why we fight for our cause, I urge you to help us form the sleep club and also to follow our social media account that we, we will be posting next year. Thank you for all your support. You can also look at the slide deck. Now do you understand all the issues going on at King with sleep deprivation? Yes, Mr. Robinson. All right, Jane, it's time for you to go back to class. All right, Mr. Robinson, thank you for your talk. Wait, Mr. Robinson, you still haven't told me why you're in my dream. Wait, wait, Mr. Robinson. Mr. Robinson, wait! Jaden! 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 Wake up! Yeah, what? Yellow? You fell asleep during class. Did I? Yeah. Class already ended. Oh, I didn't even realize. You gotta get out of here, man. I guess you're right. Have a nice day. Next time, don't sleep in as long. You too, Mr. Robinson. Thank you. Get some sleep. Yes, sir. Such a weird dream. Holy. Mr. Robinson really took a toll on me today.